It is very easy and simple to create new effects in Audacity even with simple recording. I will show you three different ways to create new effects which you can use in voiceover or on your songs. A common task for every effect will be to duplicate the track. Select the track and press Command D in Mac and Control D in Windows to make a duplicate. When you duplicate tracks, the overall loudness will increase, so you have to normalize based on the loudness of the original track. I will undo this and let's listen a bit to check the loudness level of the original track. Audacity is a great free software for beginners. If you are doing voiceover in a good recording environment, Audacity is more than good enough. It is adequate loud for a single track and duplicating the track will make it too loud. I am playing this without outputting the audio, but you can see in the playback meter how loud it has got together. It is crossing the red region with both tracks combined and we have to take care of the loudness. Normalizing is the solution here and go to normalize effect. The peak amplitude can be set around minus 7. I will set minus 7, but you can experiment with minus 6 or minus 8 as there is no specific rule. The rule of thumb is to set a value so it will be loud enough when all the tracks are played. Before duplicating the track you have to do another thing. You have to add some silent seconds in the end. I will copy paste some silent seconds here and this is necessary if you use echo or reverb effect in any of the tracks. Without some silent part at the end, the effect ends abruptly and the listening experience will not be that smooth. Copy paste is done and let's duplicate the track. On the second track add some echo effect. You can experiment with different echo settings and that will give a different kind of experience. Delay time is the difference between actual voice and echo sound and I will set 0.6. Decay factor is how loud the echo will be, 1 means the same loud as the original voice. 0.5 means half as loud as the original sound. Let's listen to what kind of effect was created. Audacity is a great free software for beginners. If you are doing voiceover in a good recording environment, Audacity is more than good enough. A nice echoey effect is created, and it is just the beginning. You can add another echo effect in the first track with slightly different settings. I will increase both delay and decay for this track. Let's listen. Audacity is a great free software for beginners. If you are doing voiceover in a good recording environment, Audacity is more than good enough. So this is giving another type of effect. You can tweak further by panning the tracks. I will pan this track to right 100% and bottom track to left 100%. This will add great experience in headphones. Audacity is a great free software for beginners. If you are doing voiceover in a good recording environment, Audacity. You can go further by offsetting one of the tracks. I will shift this track slightly left, and it will create another type of effect. Audacity, Audacity is, is a great software for beginners. beginners. If, if you are doing, doing voiceover in a good recording environment, Audacity, Audacity is more than good enough. This was the first technique to create new effect. Experiment with the settings to find the perfect effect you are looking for. These effects were generated using the echo, and now we will generate another type of effect using reverb. From history, I will get back to the duplicated stage with original tracks. I will make another duplicate as reverb works best on stereo tracks. After duplicating the track, right click on the track information panel. Click on make stereo track and a new stereo track will be created from this track and the track below it. You see a stereo track is created now and I can apply reverb effect on it. It is not like you cannot apply reverb on a mono track. Reverb works better on stereo tracks and you should try to use reverb on stereo tracks while you can. I will apply the Cathedral Factory preset which adds a nice reverb thus a nice listening experience. Audacity is a great free software for beginners. If you are doing voiceover in a good recording environment, Audacity is more than good enough. You can add some echo to the top track to make it slightly different. Keep in mind different echo settings will add different types of flavor to the final effect. So don't be afraid to experiment to find your best match.
Audacity, Audacity is a great free software for beginners. For beginners. If, you if you are doing voiceover in a good recording good environment, environment, Audacity, Audacity is more than good enough. Before showing the third type of effect, I will show you quickly a modification of the pan effect for your headphone listeners. You will need three copies of the same track, and then pan right 100% one track, and pan left 100% another track. After panning shift the track a bit to the opposite direction. For right pan track shift to slide left. Do the opposite for left pan track, shift a bit right. Radio sweeper effect is created in this way. Let's listen. Audacity, Audacity is a great free, free software, software for, for beginners. beginners. If, if you, you are doing, doing voiceover in a, in a good, good recording, recording environment, environment Audacity, Audacity is, is more, more than good, good enough. enough. I should have shifted the track a bit less, then it would sound nicer. You can also add some echo effects to the top track and would get a different type of effect. Audacity, Audacity is a great free software, software, software for beginners. For beginners. If, if you are doing voiceover in a good recording environment, environment Audacity, Audacity is more than good enough. Good enough. Okay, we will now see our third set of effects which depends on pitch change. Change the pitch of a track, and it will sound a bit different. By combining proper pitch changes you can create a beautiful effect. Through this slider, you can set how much change you want in the pitch. A positive change will make your sound thinner, and a negative change will make it thicker. I will set a negative percent minus 10. Normally robotic or demonic voice can be achieved through pitch change. Audacity is a great free software for beginners. If you are doing voiceover in a good recording environment, Audacity is more than good enough. As always you can add some echo to another track. Audacity, Audacity is a great Audacity free software free for, software beginners. for beginners. beginners. If you are doing voiceover in a good recording environment, environment, Audacity is more than good enough. You can always experiment to create a unique effect like adding echo to other tracks as well. Different combinations of applied effects create different effects, so you should try them out and check. Audacity, Audacity is a great Audacity free software, software for beginners. For beginners. If, you if you are doing voiceover in a good recording environment, Audacity, Audacity, Audacity is more than good, good, enough. good enough. Pitch change can create another well no effect, chorus. Apply different pitch changes to different tracks, and it will seem different persons are singing. The percent change for the chorus effect should be around 10% or less, otherwise, it may sound unnatural. I will set minus 4 for this so it will sound like 3 people singing. Audacity is a great free software for beginners. If you are doing voiceover in a good recording environment, Audacity is more than good enough. For singing voice enhancement, you can use a free plugin named Vocal Doubler. It is a free plugin from iZotope, and I will give a link in the description. I hope you will be able to find your creative effects by trying out one of these combinations. Audacity is a great free software for beginners. If you are doing voiceover in a good recording environment, Audacity is more than good enough. Please like this video if it is any help to you. Thanks for watching and see you next.